head. What, what the f I think actually, every... what the f I'm sick. That's sick. sick. I really thought I won that. I don't really have anything else to say. Thursday, it is March 3rd. We got two days till the fight. Today's the press conference, so in like 15, 20 minutes, I gotta meet down in the lobby. I woke up today, I'm a little underweight, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to this. He's been wanting to fight for a while, and I've seen him fight different, whether it's like jujitsu, taekwondo, all that stuff. So, like now that he's here boxing, people are underestimating him. People don't actually know what's coming. It's funny. What is coming? A show, a real show. Yesterday you said this is going to be an easy fight. What makes you say so? I think it's going to be easy because uh, I've been pre preparing this whole time. I've been training really hard. And uh, I mean, martial arts has been like half of my life. So I've been doing this for a long time. So you're not worried about anything that he can bring? You say that no matter what he brings here, it's nothing to you? Correct. King Jenny, talk to me. Obviously, at a work open workout, you got to see him move around a little bit. Did you take anything from that? I Cool that workout, what he was doing. I don't know what the f he was doing, but um, yeah, that wasn't a workout. He was just trolling the whole time. Trolling the whole time. Now, you was having fun. Are you going to be having fun with him on, on Saturday night? Yeah, we're going to be having some fun on Saturday night. How, how, how are you going to win? How are you going to take this victory? I mean, the hard part's been over. You know, I've already prepared for this. I really don't care about the crowd. I hope you guys are as loud as f for Kenny. He's going to need it. Um, but that's it, man. Last night, I was like, I was like in bed, like my hotel room. It was like late at night. I'm screaming in my room. I was calling someone. I'm like, I'm here to support Alex. But you know, we don't say Alex. Like, DraftKings Sportsbook is my favorite sportsbook to bet with. They have so many options and even offer a mobile casino in certain states. We have been following the success of DraftKings for a while and love their partnerships with Conor McGregor, Paul Pierce, Lil Wayne, and football legend Jerry Rice. DraftKings has been a great partner. They've brought us tickets to football games, MMA events, and even introduced myself to two of my favorite UFC legends, John Anik and Daniel Cormier. Today, uh, this morning was uh, the official weigh-in, but like it wasn't public. We went down there at like 10:45. I stood on the the scale and I was 79 kilos, which is one kilo below my fight weight, which is perfect. I can literally eat whatever I want now. I'm good to eat. I'm obviously not gonna eat like a crazy fucking maniac because my fight is tomorrow and I don't want to be slow in the ring. Some stress is off my mind now. We're good to go. Made weight. Now we're gonna go get the physical done, and then at 6 p.m. is like the the way in for the public. I just need to get a little bit more rest today. I tried to go to sleep at 4.30 a.m. last night. Couldn't pass out till like 6.30. There was an alarm that went off at six. It was crazy. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's get this physical. Yeah. Good, man. How you been? Good, man. Good? Good. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Content. Yeah, bro. I'm ready for tomorrow. Five, you football? No, that's my first place. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's really good, man. man. Is this your first fight? Yes, sir. Yeah. So it's your debut? Yes, sir. Yeah. So we're gonna go get Wally right now. He was supposed to come down. Uh, I think he's asleep right now because his phone's off. And uh, I just want him to check the gloves. Initially, we we're supposed to fight with 12 ounce gloves. And then, uh, then I heard it was gonna be 16. And now I'm hearing that they're 14. They definitely look a little bit smaller than 16. So um, they felt they felt nice. But I just wanna I just want Wally to check on them just to make sure Kenny was in there. You know, he so, looked look a little serious. I mean, he, he always he always looks serious. He's, he's gotta be nervous, man, because like I'm not giving him much. I haven't given him much to look at, you know? So he's probably like, the f has he been doing? Yeah. 
I know what you mean. I know, I, I know for your peace of mind, you want to speak to them and yeah, do your and thing. They, you know? Again, they can check it. It's just really yeah, yeah. like, okay, they're already wrapped up and then ours are just in here on the yeah, table. Yeah, I mean, again, if I could just see them in front of you while you're here, maybe they don't even need to come down. So as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't want to open it. Well, I get that. There. I get that. So, I, and we'll open it, but when you say it, yeah? No, I get it 100%. And it would be the same for you. If they want to see it, I'll get you. 100%. 100%. You know? Hey, that's that's Team Fury, Tyson Fury, and uh, Team Fury, man. Big shout out to them. Much love, man. They're fucking undeniably the best heavyweight right now, man. Mad love for Tyson Fury, bro. Incredible boxer, and he's a sick person, bro. Like he's a really dope dude. Big fan of his. Much love to them. Shout out Team Fury. Hey, um, is it Davey? Their trainer. He's at a restaurant right now. He's at his dinner. Um, he said about an hour. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I don't give a f about these gloves, man. Not one bit. <laughs> Wait, so what was the purpose in that? Uh, just to get them come back down. <laughs> We're out here in London at the Wembley Hotel. We're about to head over to the win. Our boy Tommy's gonna dial in, see what he's see what he's coming in at. Excited for the world to see what I already know is true. You know what I already know is about to happen. But Tommy's gonna come out here into into this guy's habitat, beat him up, slide back to LA with the W. I watched the uh, the face to face. That was funny. Funny oh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't understand. What do you mean? <laughs> I think you managed to clown him and everyone who watched it. it Bro, the host too. The host was like looking at like other people. Like, no way, they were flipping you off. Like, like oh, fake that. No idea. Fake. It was. Oh, it was so hangry. They were all. Oh, Kenny, got, Kenny got on stage and he was like, face, and everybody started chanting. Down, I can like throw my underwear or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, everyone's normally out there. If some people do it in their shorts, it's entirely up to you. Okay. There's no stress. They square up. Yeah, yeah but they've been homies. Yeah. They haven't been that bad to each other, but like, he might take it serious. Really? His whole life is serious. Yeah, yeah he seems very serious. Apple wipes his ass for the serious man. Damn, look at this. Oh! Whoa. Damn, that is crazy. I like it. It's hard. It's hard. It gives off like a. It has everything in there. It's like a Bruce Lee vibe with like, yeah. you know, the Brazilian flag and the FaZe logo, all that. I'll tell you if it was Alex's face, yeah, it wouldn't look as good. You don't want to get beat up in the, in the dressing room. I'll, hey, um, you want to have a surprise card? Me and you, let's go. <laughs> After it all. Hey, the French cut. Stand there, take my shit off, get a little face off. Alright. So, we're like 24 hours away, bro. It's almost time. It's almost time. Ladies and gentlemen, first from Team USA, introducing Face Temper. Weighing at 79 kilograms. Introducing his opponent, please welcome King Kenny! I'm standing now with Faze Tempo. How are you feeling? I feel great, bro. I feel super ready for tomorrow. You know, we're 24 hours underway. I can't, I can't wait to get it going. And King Kenny, your opponent, he's made a lot of progress as well. I'm sure you've seen it. What do you, what's your thoughts on Kenny right now? I know Kenny's been working hard. I know he's been training, preparing. And uh, I'm actually really excited for this because it's, it's, it's both our first fight, so, you know, much respect. I'm excited to get it going tomorrow. What round is this going to go in? I keep saying I'm going to pick this man apart from round one to three and finish him in round four. I keep saying you're going to pick your bloody ass fucking nose. Oh, what happened to the friendliness? It just changed. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. That's the face, got, face documentary. Uh, have, you got a, have you got a message for him? Here comes Deji We well. win. That's the message. We, we win. win. W's. Nothing but W's around here. There's definitely a little bit of fear in his eyes. I'm ready to go, man. Talk is cheap, bro. He talks a lot. Tell me what time it is. 
Uh, it's, uh, I don't know the time. It's 12.30? So it's, it's not, you know, the ideal time to get a haircut necessarily, right? No, but, but I've also been going to sleep at like f***ing four to six every night, and that's not good. I'm, I'm gonna try to get some sleep, some shut out by two at the latest. Honestly, I'm just gonna aim for one because I know I always fall short, or I guess in this case, fall long. I'm f***ing exhausted. I'm actually really tired, but like, I tried to take a nap earlier, I couldn't because just this anticipation for the fight, you know, it's my first fight and I'm just ready to be fucking in there, man. I'm just ready to, like, just to go in. And I'm just gonna shut everything out tomorrow and just have one game plan and that's to completely fucking annihilate this kid. I was thinking about this last night before I went to sleep. I was thinking about what I was gonna say when I won. And um, I just started getting really emotional and really happy and I mean, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... I don't know, man, it's a lot of emotions. I'm not, like, even thinking about it now, I'm just gonna go fucking crazy. I'm just gonna be super happy. I'm gonna fucking hug all my friends. Oh, Tomorrow's the biggest night of my life, guaranteed. Absolutely, you know? Like, I imagine myself fighting half my life uh, since I was 14. One, one thing I wanted to say is uh, the, my you know, if anybody was to think what my biggest blessing is, they would think it's FaZe Clan and, you know, creating FaZe Clan. But really, it's being my mom's son. I wouldn't have been able to do that if it, I wasn't her son. And she's, she's really, she's really the unsung hero. That woman did it all for me. Like, she's literally my superhero. She's done, dude, my mom is incredible. She's ex the strongest person I know. She's one of a kind, the sweetest woman. She's done so much for me, I can, you know, I hope I can, I don't know, this is, <laughs> it's like impossible to repay her for all that she's done for me. Mom, I f***ing love you. She hates when I swear. Mom, I love you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Obrigado por tudo que você já fez para mim. Obrigado por todo o amor que você me deu. I'm just hoping I get like some decent sleep tonight, but regardless, man, you're gonna see a new, a new Tommy tomorrow, a new temper. First of all, how you feeling? Getting ready, bro. Good. All right, so here's a couple things for you, all right? When, this is the first time you're ever doing this. Correct. So, you know, box is just as much between our ears as anything else. Okay, so there's a couple things here. First of all, strategy-wise, you think you're in good shape? Absolutely. Okay, so do you see how we do it in there? We're constantly pressure and pressure and pressure. Move fucking exhausting for other people. Don't sit back and dance around and, man, we don't fucking do that shit. We don't fucking fight like that, okay? Yeah, I'm with you. That's number one. Number two, don't let the first time you walk in the ring be the first time you see it. I saw, I saw it yesterday. You know what I, mean? I saw it yesterday. No, no, no. But he's right, though. But, no. Yeah, but no. taking the obvious of it all. No, no, I, I see what you're saying. No. Yo, he, my, my coach is saying the same thing. What's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, so go down there and let it. What's up, Rob? Go down there and get, like, when Ava used to, we used to have Ava sit there as long as possible. And then the last thing is, when you get back and you warm up in the locker room, man, your fucking nerves are going to get you. Everybody's nerves, too. So you may feel tired, like, oh, shit, man. It's your nerves that get you tired. Work through it. Yes, sir. All right, brother. All right, thank you, bro. Most people don't get to do this. It's fun. You can enjoy it. You can fight. Hell yeah. And not get arrested for it. Hey, brother. Hey, love, bro. I appreciate you, Jay. We're proud of you no matter what, man. You got balls walking in there. Be proud of yourself. Thank you, brother. I'm going to take this kid down. It's going to be fun. All right, brother. You got All right. it, baby. All right, take care. Peace. Let's do it. I don't have it in, brother. Great, man. Just another day. This day's no really different than others. I'm just gonna spar a little faster. Okay, fucking good. This is fucking it, man. This is it. Yes, sir. Showtime, I got. We're gonna head over to the arena. 
watch our boy Tommy bring it home. You know what I mean? It's a big day. Big day for Tommy, big day for FaZe Clan, big day for everybody involved. The, the show's running a little I'm, late. I'm nervous but, for him. Yeah, bro. me too. It's I'm always like, hard. Like, I have someone who's, I, I fought. Obviously, there's fight nerves, but like, I'd rather be the one fighting. I feel like I'm more nervous than him, man. He's locked in, bro. He's ready. Yo, DraftKings is hooking up Faceland fans with a sweet deal right now. If you sign up to DraftKings Sportsbook right now using the code FACECLAN, you get $50 free bet on your first deposit. This is exclusive and a one-time thing for first-time customers using the code FACECLAN. Go enjoy it. Go do it up. Phase up. I'm repping, man. Phase 10, man, I'm over here repping. This is the essence of this fight game, man, and to step in that ring against a man that's been talking crazy, has been training as hard as you've been training, trying to kill you in front of millions of people, but go in there and just dominate them. I mean, it's a, it's a feeling that you, that you just can't find anywhere else. So I want to see him come in here and beat this boy's ass and, and you know, and motherfucking feel like a damn champion. Most people would consider me a pretty chill guy, but I don't think that that's something that's gonna change come fight day. I'm definitely gonna be feeling some, some nerves and I'm gonna transfer it into confidence and just really show out when I'm in the ring. I think that's very normal. You know, everyone feels something when they're up there in front of thousands of people, in front of a whole audience. So, um, but that's not something I'm thinking about at all. I'm just doing this because I love fighting. I love martial arts. So it's a battle between me, myself, and I really. Obviously, there's, I have an, an opponent and stuff, but it doesn't matter who's on the other end of that ring. This is something that I've been planning to do for a long time. I've been training martial arts for at least half my life. Yeah, you know, I'm chilling. I'm, uh, I'm just soaking it all in, you know? We got two and a half hours to soak in before, before showtime. Is the big cat out of the cage yet, Tommy? Are you out of the cage yet? Nah, no. Nah. I feel like I won't be out of the cage until like, Ding, ding. The first, I don't know, maybe the first punch is thrown or something. Right. Maybe until I feel the first punch and then that's when like, shit will get real. My mom texted me like around like 5 p.m. She said, I'm getting this cold feeling in my stomach and I just sent her a video of me, me and Sensei just jamming out to some Luther Vandross in the room, just fucking vibing and shit. And, and then I called her, I'm like, <laughs> uh, did the, did the uh, feeling go away after the video? She's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I need to work out with myself to breathe and, and, and think positive for him, but I will be very nervous. It's a little bit too much for me, but it's his life. Like my mom used to say, we don't grow kids for us. We grow kids to give someone to the world. So we need to be accepting, give good advice, but sometimes it's hard to, to accept. Pay my attention to the dreams of your kids because we need to uh, they need to follow the heart. I'll be thinking positive for you, okay? Love you. We just got to the event. Going ringside right now. It's official. We're gonna do it that fucking time. Fight time, fight time. This MC Ryan, MC Hyun, this is the guy right here, bro. I listen to his music all the time, bro. So I'm happy he's here. He's got a show tonight. Dá um salve para toda a galera que estiver vendo aí e fala que se Deus abençoar, tudo vai dar certo hoje. Oh, It's time to f get it for real. That's what I've been training for. It's f time. It's motherfucking time. Represent, bro. Yes, sir. Represent. I got you. Fuck him up, bro. For real, bro. Say, hold up. Fuck him up, bro. Ready. That's it. Ready to go.
Ready to go. Looking forward to it, big time. He's putting all the work. That's right. Another day in the gym, right? Just another day in the gym. Time to go get it. Time to go eat and uh, <coughs> you know, go and trash this man real fast. You know, it look good doing it. You know, everybody here to see him. That's what I think about it. Everybody here to see you. So it's time to just go and just have fun and beat this guy up in front of your friends. That's it. You're ready. You're ready for this. There's nothing you're gonna not gonna see outside. You understand? You understand? Yes, sir. All right. Keep that same discipline. <laughs> when you get in the ring, I want you to keep your eyes on him. Look through him. You understand? Yep. Alright then. Hey, last thing. Have fun out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's go. It's time to go have fun yes, now. It's that time, boy. Let's go. It's showtime, baby. I definitely visualize myself doing this, you know, myself in the ring, how I'm moving. The, the shots I want to take, just taking it, taking it as it comes and, and uh, imposing my will on, on my opponent. You kind of have to, to visualize it to, to make it happen. You know, there's only one way to do it and you, you got to really see it through, through thick and through thin. It's fucking showtime. We're like, what, 60 seconds out? Yeah. Supposedly? Yeah. Where the f go, baby? That's what we've been training for. That's what, that's what I've been fucking training for. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Please welcome into the arena, Face Temper. I really have no idea like which round it's gonna be, if it's gonna go the distance. I just know I'm winning this fight. That's it. Let's go! Shake both hands, shake hands, shake hands! Oh, referee trying to get them both back together to shake hands. That's how important this is. Come here, Rick. Come and here. face temper wants none shake of it. Shake hands, shake hands. Back to your corners. Good combination there from Face Tempo. He's showing terrific plays. Really, that's that's a Face Tempo round. Oh my god! I'd be, I'd be echoing what Vidal just said. That's my f***ing brother. Let's go! Tell me that's easy work. And a fight breaks out here live in London Wembley. But without having the height and reach advantage is one thing. Knowing how to capitalize and use it is another. That's yes. what's impressed me about face. It definitely yo, 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 yo. 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 Well, with three rounds down, Joe, on my card, I'm going with the blue corner overall. Um, I think Temper has had the more meaningful shots. Because Kenny's been trying, but he's just not had the success uh, that Temper's had. That's the most success Kenny has had in the fight so far. That round was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he knows he's not home right now and he's gonna have to push the pace and win extra convincingly to make sure everyone understands he is the winner. This could be 
it for him. That that could be key moments. And this again with that double jab could be key moments for him to take this away win. But I think overall, as much as the crowd doesn't want it, I think this man is confident. And I've got a, a gut feeling that face Tempest's game plan has worked. Yeah. In my opinion, face Temper has taken that. You know, I think Temper should get the decision for this fight, but we know it's boxing and we know what hometown advantage means. Go, boy! Come on! Face the f up! Go, go. After five rounds of boxing, we go to your judges for the decision. Our first judge scores about 49, 46 to the red corner. Our second judge, 49, 47 to the blue corner. Our third and final judge scores about 49, 48 in favor of your winner by split decision King Kenny I really thought I won that I would say I won I thought I won every round to be honest I don't really have anything else to say Sick. Fucking rig. That makes no sense. How are you gonna run a fucking legitimate? Oh, what the? Off. On I'm fucking. I'm sick. That's some fucking bullshit, that, bro. It that makes no sense. It, that is some. Fucking I know. Bullshit. I don't. I don't understand. You could maybe say out of the five rounds, like Kenny won. Took no, one of the five. Tommy was whooping him the whole time. Tommy was beating the fuck out of him. It's unreal, man. I'm sick. Bro, you got fucking robbed. Fight. No, no, that fight. It doesn't make no That's any, fucking any bullshit, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm pissed, bro. I'm pissed. I watched them celebrate, disbelief. Right, Kenny was shocked. He was doing this. lottery, bro. Bro, it was just some home crowd shit. The rigged ass mother. You could see the fight was over. He thought he lost. He thought he lost. Bro, you whooped on him that whole fight. You whooped on him. Even he couldn't fucking believe he won. He couldn't fucking believe it. When they Bro, he didn't win. Oh, he didn't win. Bro, he didn't win. Everyone, everyone's talking about it. I'm Twitter. I want to know. No, I want to know. Man. Wait a second. You feel me? Is that the unanimous champ? About an hour ago, I just got word from Showstar that my boxing match, they, they the results from the appeal came in and it's been overturned. Unanimous yeah. winner, uh -huh. yes, unanimous sir. decision. Your champion right here, one and zero. Let's get it, baby. Let's go, unanimous. Tom. Didn't even give him one, one of them. Like he didn't even win one. Nah, not even one. <laughs> Goofy. <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs>